Hey everybody, so this video is going to be about juicing for beginners and I still consider myself a beginner but I've been doing it for a while, for almost a year now so I feel like I at least know the ropes enough to help someone else get started in juicing. So the first thing I want to cover is juicers. A lot of people say that juicers are really expensive, juicing can be expensive, which is very true if you don't know what you're doing. So this is what I did. When I started off, my first juicer was a juicer purchased on Craigslist. I paid about $50 for it and I got a Jack LaLanne power juicer. And it was in really good condition because you, know, you always want to make sure which you're purchasing on Craigslist is legit, so I made sure I did that before I paid for it. But that's the first juicer I started off with. There are also many, many juicing options that are not that expensive. You can check on Craigslist, you can check on Groupon.com or LivingSocial.com because they have, they always have offers for different juicers and blenders and things like that. Another option is you can go to QVC.com. They have juicers and you can purchase them via Easy Pay, which breaks down the total cost into separate payments and once you make the first payment they send you the item and you just continue to make payments monthly until it's paid off. It's almost like a line of credit. So that's that's actually how I purchased my second juicer which um, I waited a few months because I wanted to make sure I would be consistent with juicing before I invested in a more expensive juicer. So once I knew that I was going to be consistent I realized I needed a more expensive juicer because the one that I had was a pain in the butt to clean. When your juicer is hard to clean, you don't juice as much because you don't want to clean it. So I ordered the Omega 8006. 8006. And I ordered it from QVC on Easy Pay. Um, I believe that juicer might be around $300, I can't quite remember, but with the easy payments it was much, much cheaper. I think my payments were less than $100 a month. So um, I purchased that via easy pay and what the Omega 8006 is, is it's a um, oh, masticating juicer, which means instead of spinning really, really fast and the juice flying out, what it does is it spins really, really slow and it presses the juice from your produce. And so the masticating juices are good to do wheatgrass as well and leafy greens. And since I'm juicing leafy greens and not much fruit, the um, masticating juicer is better for me. So those are some options for juicers. You can always, I mean, some people, you know, if you have a Sears card, a Macy's card, a JCPenney card, you can check those places and see if they have juicers as well. You can even check Walmart. Tons of places have juicers. There's no specific juicer that you need to get started. You just need something so you can get started. So you start off with a juicer and the next thing you want to make my, my most important thing when investing in a juicer please if you can get a juicer that's easy to clean look up the reviews online okay and um, I'll leave the links for some YouTube channels that I watch to get information on different juicers to help me with my purchasing decision. So after you have your juicer, the next thing you need is you need to know what to buy so that you can juice. Now, everybody isn't going to have a book full of juice recipes. And even if you do, it's really hard to determine what you need to buy for, say, a week's time in order to make juice each day. Because if you have a recipe book and you try to make a different juice each day, you may end up overwhelmed and wasting a lot of money buying produce, produce that you end up not using. So my suggestion is, if you can, find a couple of recipes and start off with one to two recipes each week. If you're going to make juice each day, once a day, then maybe start with one recipe Monday, B recipe Tuesday, A on Wednesday, B on Thursday, A on Friday, C, B on Saturday, like that, so that you have two things that you can try, or you can just stick with one. And that's gonna keep your ingredients you know, at a, at a minimum so that you're not wasting too much money and using, purchasing produce that you're not going to use because of course it spoils. So um, in regards to that, you also don't want to do too much too fast because you don't know if you're going to like those juices uh, for the time being as also juice. 
be prepared to not like it. You're gonna have to keep, if, you're, if you haven't been eating healthy, you may not like the juice, especially if you're doing green juices to start off with, which I recommend because you're gonna have to do it at some point. That's the whole point is to get more of the good things into your body and not just fruit. Because <laughs> we all like sweet stuff, right? So be prepared for it to not necessarily taste that great starting off, but don't give up. You got to just keep drinking a little at a time each day and then soon you're going to start to really like it. It's going to taste good. You just have to give it some time. So, and I'm, it's not going to take a lot of time. If you drink the same juice every day for a week, you're probably going to love it on day eight. So um, to get started, you're going to want to get some leafy green vegetables and a good starter vegetable is spinach because it's not as bitter as dandelion, kale. Um, and another good starter is bok choy, but the spinach is good for your leafy green. So I recommend everybody for their leafy green to start off with spinach and then progress to the more bitter green vegetables um, as you start to develop a like for the taste. As far as what you should get in regards to produce to start juicing, there are certain ingredients I recommend that everybody have when you're going to do juicing. Everybody should have certain ingredients in their refrigerator or pantry. Um, so that when you want to make some juice, you have everything readily available. So the things that I think are very important that you always have on hand are going to be a leafy green, such as spinach, lemons or and or limes, ginger, and celery. Uh, also, you want to make sure you have either bok choy or cucumber. And those are the only ingredients that I think you absolutely need to have. And if you need something sweet in your juice, then have some apples on hand. Those are the basic ingredients that I think everyone should have who's doing juicing. That's it. You can make a delicious juice with just those ingredients if you use all of them together. Delicious. So. Once you start progressing more and more into juicing, you will start experimenting with more fruits and vegetables. But those are the basics that I recommend you start off with. And then later on, you may want to substitute carrots for the apples or just add carrots. You may want to add tomatoes. You may want to add bell peppers, onions, and garlic, and things like that. But as I said before, the basics that I recommend are your leafy green, spinach to start off with, uh, apple if you need something sweet, cucumber or bok choy and that's going to fill out your juice because the other ingredients are only going to produce a really small amount of juice. Cucumber and bok choy are going to give you a lot of juice. So what's that going to do is it's going to fill out your cup and it's going to dilute the flavor. You also want to make sure you have lemons and or limes. I personally prefer lemon because it's good for you and it brings out the flavor and everything. Ginger. Ginger is great for you and um, you're going to want to add a little bit at a time to get your body, your, your taste buds used to the taste because it can, it can taste a little spicy or overwhelming sometimes. Um, you always want to have celery. Yeah, I, I love it. I mean, I think celery is perfect for everything. And that's it. Isn't that really easy? It's really simple. So those are the only things that I recommend. and. Make small amounts of juice to start off with. I would personally, at this point, drink like a 32 ounce glass in the mornings in a jar um, every morning to start off my day and then sometimes I'll have juice later on in the day. But start off, you can start off small, okay? Start off with a small glass of juice just to get yourself started, get yourself used to the flavor and then increase the amount that you make each week. Uh, also, what you're going to wanna get or invest in is mason jars because you always want to keep your juice in glass, always. Mason jars are really good, they're inexpensive and they last like forever. And they're also good for storing your juice if you want to make it in large quantities and store it. Um, you may want to invest in straws. I like straws rather than drinking it out of the jar that way. And that's just about it. Most of the measurements for your produce that come in recipes, I mean, it's literally like a half a cucumber, a whole cucumber. Um, oh, you're going to want to make sure you have a cutting board. I use a silicone cutting board and sometimes I use a cutting board made from timber glass. And I don't think it really matters what kind you use. I also invested in ceramic knives because ceramic knives are better for cutting produce. They, um, they don't oxidize your produce. So say if you cut an apple with a ceramic knife, you're only using half an apple. Your apple is not going to turn brown as quickly with the ceramic knife. The metal knife, it oxidizes in 
that apple's gonna turn start turning brown right away. Uh, with your juice, it's best to start drinking it right away. Drink it within like 15 or 20 minutes of making it. If you have to store it, store it in an airtight container in the refrigerator or store it in an airtight, contain airtight container in the freezer. Glass. That's really important. Um, another ingredient you may want to get for your juice is bentonite. Not bentonite clay. I'm sorry, that's way advanced. <laughs> I'm sorry. Chia seeds. Um, because chia seeds is something you can add directly to your juice. They're really good for your digestive system. And yeah, you can just put them in your juice and they kind of get a gel, a gel gelatinous coating around them. And they kind of just float in your juice and you can drink them. And I mean, you can't even really taste them. Well, you can't taste them at all, honestly. But I mean, you can't really feel them going down. So hopefully that was helpful. Those are just my tips for juicing and some ingredients I think everyone should have. One more quick tip as far as juicing on a budget, um, because the ingredients can get expensive, buy organic produce whenever possible. Organic produce is 100% better for you than other produce because of the, look up, just look it up. Or I'll go into that later if you want me to, but buy organic whenever possible and support your local farmers markets or your local cooperative. I found that going to my farmer's market saved me a lot of money. I was going to local grocery stores, Sprouts and Whole Foods, and for a week of produce for juicing, I would be spending $80 and $90. I went to my local farmer's market. I started going there, and for the same items, I would spend like 12 bucks at the most. There's still a couple of things I may have to get at the grocery store, but not much. I mean, 80 to 100 compared to 12. You do the math. So if you're looking to save money and to do it on a budget, check your local farmers markets and your local cooperatives because you can often get a lot of good produce at those places. All of the ingredients I mentioned in this video, you can get at your local farmers market or cooperative and you're probably gonna spend $5 for all those things listed in this video, if not less. So that's something to keep in mind. And like I said before, I hope this video was helpful. I will talk to you all later. Bye.